You just finished up a procedure on our jaguar, Lucero. So what's one of the really main differences between anesthetizing an animal like Lucero and a human of about the same size? There's almost no difference except the shape. The physiology is all the same. The heart rate is the same. The blood pressure should be the same. It's just that jaguars look very different than people. Okay. And so how does it feel having all those people? It was kind of a little bit of a circus. There's a lot of people and pictures going on. How does that affect you? Well, it's very busy in the room, but I need to be able to concentrate on my patient, which is Lucero the Jaguar. And so I need to be able to focus and put all of that out of my mind. And that's a skill we acquire in our residency and our training, because the operating rooms are often very busy. Not as busy as today, but indeed busy. And so we have to concentrate on the monitors and on our patient. So it's a skill that we acquire. And all the other doctors are kind of rotating in and out, but you were there the entire time and you're watching the monitors and making sure that everything's okay. So is that kind of stressful, like that kind of pressure to that you have this animal's life like on your hands? Well, I do have his life in my hands, and I safeguard his life beat to beat and breath to breath, but that is indeed my job. And again, it comes back to being trained very, very well to do that job. And so I'm very comfortable at this point doing it. I've been a board-certified veterinary anesthesiologist for 12 years now. And uh, having a lot of people in the OR sometimes can be very distracting, and I'll have to ask them to move or to step back or to be quiet. And people are usually very accommodating to that because they understand understand the importance of uh, when I ask them to do that. And you get to be really close to all these animals, so what's something that a lot of people don't know about Lucero the Jaguar that they might be surprised to learn that you got to see by being so close? I don't have time to actually marvel at my patient. He's beautiful and I can marvel at him now when he's awake, but when I am watching him and taking care of him, I don't have time to look at him and, and wonder and be curious and be in awe of how beautiful he is. And I guess that the one thing that I would take away from this is that he's magnificent, he's muscular and he's brave and he's beautiful.